Good morning, everyone. So today I want to talk to you about situations where you have to deal with uh, a complication, a dental complication. And there is some, an advice that I hear every now and then, some pract practitioners giving it, to, especially to younger practitioners, which I strongly disagree with this advice. And also, your indemnity will strongly disagree with it as well, which basically saying you apologize to the patient and say, look, I'm really sorry, I did one, two, three, four. It's my fault. I will help you fix this problem up. Never ever admit fault. And let me explain to you more in details uh, about that in that video with some examples as well. But first, for credibility, my name is Khaled. I have been a dentist for um, 20 years. I own my own dental practice, Lakeside Dental Spa in Harvey in Queensland. Um, and I took it from one chair to 10 chairs, from three staff members to close to 40 staff members over the course of 14 years. And you can check my details below for uh, credibility. So let's give a situation where you're doing a root canal treatment and you create a, an extra canal, if you know what I mean, you perforate, or you separate a file, or um, you do an extraction and you get a root get pushed inside the sinus, for example, for some reasons, or are you doing a crown and the crown fails, or um, you, there is a traumatic pulp exposure or anything of that aspect. Basically, there is a complication. Number one, firstly, um, just to preempt that, if, if a patient is hearing this video, we're, we're not trying to trick patients. We're not trying to not help patients. Just simply, we have to use the right communication tools to help you as a patient. And also, if we use the wrong tools, it can not help you or serve you in the long run. So. The advice I hear is you sit the patient up and apologize, look, I'm really sorry I perforated this or I caused this uh, file separation or I broke a file or I pushed the root into your sinus. I'm really sorry for that. I'm going to refer to a specialist that is rectified. Never ever admit fault. Um, it's not a good advice because simply once you admit fault, that's when patients will sense something you did was wrong and it, it's just a complication that can happen. Any, any, any dental procedures at any surgery carries risk and complications and cause complications can happen. So it's, n it's never admit fault, and it's not your fault, it's a complication in the nature of the procedure that things can happen that way. If you admit fault, it will be very hard for your indemnity to recover from it, to, uh, to, to defend you as well. If lawyers like to, uh, or any legal advisor will like to latch into any admission of fault for large, huge compensation, even if it's not, the complication doesn't require the sum of compensation, but it can work against you. My advice, do not follow the advice where you apologize and admit fault, never do that. But what I will do is uh, be very factual, be very honest with your patient, and also your patients will not be upset or angry at you if you tell them, I am with you on that, I want, I'm, I'm here for you to help you, to help you rectify this problem. So instead of admitting the fault, say, hey, I'm really sorry, it's my fault, shouldn't have done that, I'm gonna help you fix it, just be factual, say, look, you know, if you remember, of course, inform before you perform is very important. So remember when we discussed before the extraction, there is a risk of a root being pushed into the sinus. Well, um, this complication happened where now we have a root inside the sinus. Again, I'm not admitting fault. It is a, com a nature of the procedure that those complications can happen. So um, this complication happened where the root has been pushed into the sinus, but fortunately, never say unfortunately, fortunately, there are ways to fix that. If it's beyond your scope, of course, you have to fare. Um, I will have to give you some antibiotics to avoid any infection. I'm going to contact uh, a local oral surgeon myself to make sure I get you an appointment in a timely manner, and um, I will organize that for you. Um, now it's up to you, but if there's any bills, I'm happy to cover that as well. So please send the bills to my office, and I will cover your surgical bills to rectify that. It's up to you whether you want to do that or not. And of course, you can get indemnity insurance, because when you refund, you have to make sure you don't admit fault or it's out of goodwill. So again, number one, I'm not admitting fault. I'm just explaining factually the information. I am using the right communication tools. I am saying I'm gonna do everything I could to help you out. So I'm gonna, instead of you waiting for a long wait to see the surgeon, I'm gonna call the surgeon myself, try to get you an appointment. And even if you wanna cover the bills, you can cover the bills. Sometimes I will do that. If, if it's once off complication, it happens every five years, why not? Especially uh, this will help the patient out, why not? Um, so that's very important. Tracking back, inform before you perform. Every patient you do extraction on the upper molar, you're gonna explain to them the risk of sinus exposure, 
science uh, problems, you want to see a surgeon, a specialist, or you want it to do it for you, if I can take the roots out or refer you to a surgeon. So you need to have this beforehand or consent it. So um, it's very important, be factual, use the right tools. Don't say I broke a file, say there is an instrument separation. Uh, don't say I perforated, say um, there is um, an exposure of the bony area around the roots. So use the right terminology without making it sound like, wow, it's, it's, you cause a problem. And tell the patient, I'm here for you, I'm here to help you. I will find, I will get you appointments to special. Here's a plan. If you give them a plan, how are we gonna fix this problem? The chances of getting upset at you is much less. But if you say, it's my fault, I apologize. Uh, here you go, here's the referral, go and see a specialist. That's not the good way, a good way to do it. Um, if you follow this step-by-step -step, uh, guide to manage complications, I expect the chance of the patient getting angry at you or upset at you will be very low. The chance of them uh, putting a formal complaint against you will be very low. And also, the chance your indemnity will give you a hard time to protect you will be very low. The indemnity will be happy that you have an admitted fault. Don't listen to advice that where you apologize on own for mistake. It's not the correct way to manage complications, unfortunately. And make sure you get the proper advice uh, from your indemnity, of course. If you find this information helpful, make sure you like and share it with your friends and colleagues. If you want to hear more about my videos, please subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified when more videos are released. Thank you so much for listening to me. It means a lot to me.